Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel today, guys. So, we're going to be running down everything that you need to know about this game. So, apparently, the new update released around 2.30 my time, uh, Eastern Mountain Time. And so did it, so did it with, uh, my friend too, Killer. Uh, we both got the DLC, so now, for anyone who's wondering what's going on with this new DLC, what they did was up the level cap. So, as you see in the top right there, I am level 102, which means that you can now have 200 attributes added into your, um, attributes here. As you can see, I can go up to 130 or 120 if I so choose. However, though, I am not yet not yet however though for anyone who's wondering uh how much it's going to cost it's going to cost 200 tp for you to be able to level up which is pretty pricey you'll need almost probably like a good 5,000 tp if anything five ten thousand tp to get to 120 level 120 first what you want to do is head over to weiss talk to weiss he'll ask you to get a special plant type food you want to go into the food section into the items after you go into the items you want to just purchase it give it a wees you'll gain the buff you'll gain the increase in everything and then you're set um you can uh set the levels for all your parallel quests if they're too hard for you um same thing with i think um expert missions i'm not so sure um everything is in detail inside of the uh yeah inside of the um what's it called uh inside of the uh garbit guy this guy right here this little little dude yeah the this guy the guide anyways check out everything there as everything's there for you to see the info bots there you also gain um additional 20 times tp so there's that uh, in terms of new skills, I haven't seen any besides the new Awoken, which is Ultra Instinct. To find Ultra Instinct, um, the game will tell you where to find Full Power Jiren. Full Power Jiren will be sitting right here next to these stairs. You have to train with him for a good, like, 30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds to unlock Ultra Instinct. So, I would show you what Ultra Instinct is. Unlock your true potential and awaken a power beyond that of a god. Consume stamina to automatically dodge attacks, as usual, normal UI. Use X after dodging to counterattack. And use triangle while guarding to charge key. Your normal and charged key blasts are improved as well. So, let's have a quick rundown. This is all I'm running over is the new skills. Everything else is up for you guys to look up on different channels for. Find what's new. Uh, discover everything. So on and so forth. But I'll only be showing you this. So, let's just choose Brawly. They also upped Brawly's health, too. So, his health is no longer perfect green. It is now two quarters, um more health well like two and a half quarters more health anyways so you want to make sure that your key is set to normal i'll first show you everything that you need to know about this transformation so you're able to obviously gain power via x and triangle now when blocking especially in ultra instinct what you want to do is of course it also drains about 500 key by the way so once so once anyways so whilst transforming uh also i don't think you guys can hear my friend because i think i accidentally turned my thing off um you can auto dodge while you're transforming. So I'm pretty sure stamina breaking you while trying to transform into Ultra Instinct is probably going to be a little difficult. So yeah, there's that. Now, what it meant by blocking and holding triangle, if you hold triangle and hit, I mean hit L1 and hold triangle, you can charge into an Ultra Instinct charge for a quick power charge. So if you don't have like burst charge or something, whatever, right? then there you go it's a quicker way to charge and it ups all your power too all your attacks on everything now in terms of key blast normal key blast which is circle you have literally 
Yeah. You, you got that. What would you would you look at that soaring fist? Now, I mean, I don't think it could go into much combo. Yeah, never mind. It could go into combos. Yep. As you can see, combos, combo adaptive, and if you hold it, um, you also gain access to spirit, um, crap, what was it called? Nah, I forget what it's called, spirit something, uh, one of signs moves, spirit pulse, yeah, spirit pulse, there we go. Anyways, now, if you set the bot to strong or whatever, right? when getting attacked okay not like that <laughs> as you can see auto dodge normal you lose stamina but if you press X at the right time you get a cool epic little animation there they can Z vanish out of it it wastes only your key not your stamina so that's a plus and I think it does give you a small increase in attack you have a lot of defense, though. You, I think you take less damage than what you would normally take. Only one way to find out. Let me just, just move around. But Never mind. He cannot hit me, no matter if I'm moving. That's broken. The only thing that can hurt me is key-based attacks. So I'm practically untouchable. But anyways, that's all that I really have for today's video on Ultra Instinct. Um, everything else will be in quite literally like the beginning of you entering Xenoverse 2 for the first update. So just check everything out there. And anyways, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think of my informational video. I know it was kind of garbage, kind of slow or and stuff like that, but I mean... Hey, it's some information for some of you guys that want to know how it is, how it works, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.